This is how teaching and learning should look like. For four good years, this building sat idle while students slammed in a dilapidated school structure. The story is different now. Well, you can see for yourself, these students are no longer scorched by the sun. Initially, these boys of those who pressed be classed of schools would have to remove their sheds in order to fan themselves as a result of the excessive heat in their previous dilapidated structure. But now things have changed. After constant reportage on the bad nature of their school, these boys have finally been moved into a fully furnished structure. When we were there, the, the sun was coming into our class. Then we have heat, no fresh air. So by now when we came here, we have fresh air, we have fans and lights in our class. And we have beautiful washrooms and all those things. When we were there, when there was no social distancing, we were afraid. We were afraid because of the COVID. Maybe someone has it in the class, then it will affect all of us. So we are afraid, but now when we are here, when there was social distancing, we don't have any problem again. When we were there, some of us, for, um, the uniform we wear, the decks always tear the back of our uniform. But when we, we are here, we have new decks, and the decks is that we have one single. So one person sits on single deck, so we have space on that X2. Actually, the thing is because of the portals, if you are working, you could have fallen down. So that doesn't make some of the people to pay attention. But now that we are here, when we are learning, everyone pays direct attention to the teacher and what he's saying. Not only do students share in this joy, teachers as well. Madam Lydia Autry is headmistress of the Osu Presby Boys School. From the other side, life wasn't easy there. Classes were going on though, but teachers and pupils were not feeling comfortable at all. The heat, the dust, and all other things were not actually helping us. But when we moved here, by the grace of God, we are having a very nice place. Lessons are ongoing. Learners are also enjoying. The Kole Klota Youth Alliance has also been pushing for the relocation of the students for a while now. The new development has indeed brought great excitement to them. Neil Tinkrayankra is executive director of the group. And we're very much excited that our efforts have not been in vain. We've pushed for it and today the kids are learning in a very conducive atmosphere. This is all we're all fighting for in Kole Klota. Our alliance is basically to shape up the constituency or the community to have everything easy for them and today you can see when you went around they were all excited this morning they were happy for their break they were happy in the classroom they've had new chairs they have everything so we'll say well I thank everybody that puts in their force especially the municipal chief executive of those students of those who presby boys school have been moved into the new building other students within the cluster still remain in the previous structure Municipal Chief Executive for the Kole Klote Municipality, Ni Ejei Teria, who spearheaded the movement, however told Joy News that more work needed to be done, like the provision of portable water. Because there was no water uh, and, and also at the point no electricity, all these things need to be sorted. And that is what we, um, we have done now. So now, uh, once the concrete platform is matured enough to for the water to sit on, and I believe that is sometime next week. Uh, all the teacher, children can move into the, the school now. Well, some officials and beneficiaries of the new structure had something to say to join news. We are grateful to join news. We even saw the pictures you took the other time, and I I, I was shocked. I said, "Wow, how can a lady climb up a car?" For our sake, yes, we are grateful to you. We hope that you continue to do this good work to help all those who are in need. Indeed, there's a lot to smile and scream about. Judith Chitando, join us.